Hey guys, it's Justin back with an engineer's perspective. Quick video. I'm prepping a test with my three PM2s and 10V M4 and S35 VN. I've got the S35 VN in there right now. I was just finishing up on the 300 grit stone, but I wanted to show you something. So on these diamond uh, plates, uh, if you're gonna do finishing strokes, you know, I did a video with the aggressive edge or refined bite is probably the better term for it, but the aggressive edge videos, I said light pressure stropping strokes. Depending on the steel and the stones and the grit, you can get away with different stuff. But on these diamond plates, it's I think it's really important that you, if you're gonna do these finishing strokes, to do it these light, light, less, less than the weight of the stone holder here, these light stropping strokes to try to knock off and reduce that burr. And I just wanted to show what you can get doing that. And I just did, I started off on the 140, 17 degrees per side. I had it just perfect. So we'll try to sneak this in here. It's pretty tough with the 300. Well, I'll show you to get it because <clears throat> it's so aggressive. If you remove a burr, you form a burr. But 300 grit edge. absolutely hair shaving. I didn't want to take off too much there. And just out of curiosity, oops, a daisy. Unstropped edge on the best tester here. Let's see what we can do. Now you could spend uh, more time on a less temperamental, temperamental steel. So like this would probably be more fun on a Rex 45 or something, I don't know. Tear, probably can't see that. Yeah, yeah it's fine. But see what we can do. It's pretty awkward. One sixty five. One sixty five. We're only at three minutes, so I'm going to do one more test for you. That's the beauty of these fixed angled systems is deburring, in my opinion. The, you know, being able to set your angles super precisely, convenient, but not a huge deal for me. But the ability to deburr on these things is just incredible. Okay, let's do this one more time. One forty-five on an unstropped three hundred grit diamond plate edge. Let's see what it does to paper. So obviously it's got the cami hanging off of it. Ridiculously sharp 300 grit edge. So that's what you can get. Let me turn this baby off. With those stropping motions and how well you can deburr. So if your skill is very high, you can do very light pressure and match that angle perfectly. You can get some sick results. So that's all. Just want to kind of demonstrate what you can do with those very light um, edge trailing strokes. There is, in all seriousness, probably a, there is a little bit of burr that gets kind of drawn out on there on, on a stone, especially this aggressive. But even with having that little bit of burr, getting a quite a clean apex like that 
you can get some sick results. So I'm gonna keep sharpening these knives and uh, stay tuned for some testing with them. Have a good one, bye.